Welcome to Windows 8 tutorial lesson number 3. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to switch between your applications when you're in the Metro interface view and also when you're in a desktop view. And I'm going to show you which methods I feel are the best depending on which interface you're in at that given point in time. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is well open up some applications. I'm going to start by opening Internet Explorer in the lower left hand corner here and open up that application. Really don't need to open up a bunch of applications, just open up one or two. I'm going to also open up Firefox. If you have one of those applications installed, feel free to open it up. And once you have those applications open, uh, I'm going to show you the first method that I use when I'm in the desktop view to switch between my applications. The way that I typically switch between my applications is I hold Alt and I press Tab. And that will show you all the applications you have open. And as you can see, we have Internet Explorer open, we have Firefox open, uh, we have my recording program open that I'm using right now. And if I tab through uh, this thing here, you'll see that I can, see, I can go to each application. So right now I'm at Firefox. If I tab again, it'll go to Internet Explorer. Now, one thing I do want to mention is while you're holding the Alt key, you, you just tab through the different uh, things. So once you, I'll, I'll show you again. If you hold Alt and you press Tab, it will bring up that interface. You don't need to hold down the Tab key. Otherwise, it's going to do this. It's going to go through all the applications really quickly, and you don't want that to happen. So you just press the Alt key, hold it down, and then press Tab, tap the Tab key as you go through each of those applications that you want to see. So that's the recommended method that I would use if you're in the desktop view. Another way um, you're going to want to open applications is in the Metro interface. And So let's go ahead and hit the Windows key or you can go to the upper right hand corner of your screen and just click on the start menu. But I'm just going to hit the, the, the Windows key on my keyboard, it's faster and it will bring up that interface. And once you bring up that interface uh, you're going to want to open up a few applications. In this case, we can open up the Weather app. And once you open up the Weather app, you're going to want to hit the Windows key again. You can hit that by going here, or you can also just hit the Windows key and go back to the Metro interface. And this time, I'm going to open up the Maps application. So go ahead and left click that. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to the Metro interface by hitting the Windows key or we can go to the upper right hand corner of our screen and click that start button. So let's go ahead and go back to the Metro interface. And once you're back at the Metro interface, let's go ahead and open one more application. In this case, I'm going to open up the store not right next to the Maps application. So go ahead and left click that. And once you have a few applications opened up, go ahead and move your cursor in the upper left hand corner of your screen. And you'll notice that you get this thumbnail. And basically what this thumbnail is going to allow you to do is to switch between the different applications you have open. So let's go ahead and left click on that thumbnail. You see it brings up the map application. And if you look at the next thumbnail, it's actually referencing the weather application. So if we left click that, it will bring up the weather app. If we left click it again, this time, take note before I click on it, it's showing Firefox, which is the desktop view. And the reason I mention that is because it doesn't switch between all the applications when you use this method. It only switches to the desktop view. So if you left click that, it shows the desktop view with a picture of Firefox or the actual application. And the next thumbnail that you'll see in that image is of the store. If you left click on that, that'll bring us back to the Metro app interface and you'll see the image of the store. So you'll notice that it didn't show Internet Explorer. And if you left click on the thumbnail until we get back to, to the desktop, you'll notice that it didn't open up Internet Explorer. But if we hit Alt Tab and you look through our, our uh, thumbnails here, you'll see that Internet Explorer is open on the desktop. So I do want you to take note that when you're using that thumbnail, thumbnail method in the Metro interface, it doesn't um, switch to show all of the applications that you have open on the desktop. It just shows the desktop view. So anytime that you want to switch between all your applications, make sure that you use Alt Tab. But let's go ahead and go back to the Metro interface. Go ahead and hit your Windows key. And it'll take us back to the Metro interface. 
And once you're back in the Metro interface, go ahead and place your cursor in the upper left hand corner and slide it down. And you'll notice that it shows another type of menu where you can switch between the applications. So this is another way to see all of those windows at once without having to manually click through every one. So it's just kind of another method that's similar to the Alt tab except for you can see everything all at once and you can just left click on it with your cursor. And when you're in this view you'll be able to see um, exactly what I was talking about. You can see all the applications that are open in the Metro interface and you'll also see that it only shows the desktop as a thumbnail for just viewing the desktop. It doesn't show all the applications that we have open. So hopefully that helps you to understand uh, what I meant by that when I said earlier that it doesn't show all the applications in the, in the desktop view. It only shows um, the desktop view as one single application. So you'll switch between the Metro interface applications that we have here, which is the store, maps, and weather. And you'll also be able to go to the desktop view by clicking on that thumbnail. So if, for example, I were to click on the desktop view, it would bring it back up. But you can't use that method. Well, actually, I'm sorry. You can use that method when you're on the desktop, too, if you got enough applications open. So we can go back to the Metro interface, and we would be able to see the weather app there. And if we wanted to go back to the desktop, we could bring that up. Click desktop, and it bring us back to the desktop view. So hopefully that helps you to better understand uh, how to switch between your applications. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, give us thumbs up, embed, or share our video. And again, I apologize that you hear, if you hear any background noise. Um, it's, it's unfortunately something that I can't control, but I'll try to eliminate as much as possible um, using my audio editing tools. So have a great day.